Rock Computer College. Define quality training in information technology. Now let's look at understanding number formats. Now what are number formats? So whenever you're working with a spreadsheet, it's a good idea to use appropriate number formats for your data. Number formats tell your spreadsheet exactly what type of data you're using, like percentages, currency, times, dates, and so on. Now why is it important to use number formats? Number formats don't just make your spreadsheet easier to read, they also make it easier to use. And when you apply a number format, you're telling your spreadsheet exactly what types of values are stored in the cell. Now let's look at applying number formats. There are two main ways to choose a number format. So first, go to the Home tab, like we're, then click the number format drop-down menu in the number group. So this is the number group. This is the number format command. Click this arrow. And then from this drop down menu, make a selection. So if I select currency, it will be applied to the cell that I've selected. And if I type any number, it will be displayed in currency format. Again, another method you can use, uh, select the desired cell, then press control one. Then from here, make a selection. So again, I'll select currency, then click okay. So what this will do is that uh, it adds a currency symbol and displays two decimal places for any numerical values that I'll enter in that cell. So if I enter 20 again, then press enter. It will express it. It will express it as a currency. Now, if you select any cell cells with number formatting, you can see the actual value of the cell in the formula bar. If I select this one, the actual value is 15. Now, the spreadsheet will use this value for formulas and other calculations. Now, let's look at using number formats correctly. There's more to number formatting than selecting cells and applying a format. Now, spreadsheets can actually apply a lot of number formatting automatically based on the way you enter data. This means you need to enter data in a way that the program can understand and then ensure that those cells are using the proper number formats. So let's look at percentage formats. Now, one of the most helpful number formats is the percentage format. It displays values as percentages such as 20% or 55%. And this is especially helpful when calculating things like cost of sales, tax, or a tip. So let's enter a percentage. Then I'll type 15 again and then enter the percentage sign if i click enter if we look at the formatting here it will read percentage so that's how you enter percentage in excel as you may remember from math class a percentage can also be written as a decimal so 15 percent is the same thing as 0 0.15 percent so if i come here and change the formatting to number it will change to 0.15%. I can still take back it back to percentage and it remain as 15%. And let's look at date formats. Now, whenever you're working with dates, you want to use a date format to a specific date format to tell the spreadsheet that you're referring to specific calendar dates. Now, dates for, date formats allows you to work with a powerful set of date functions that use time and date information to calculate an answer. Now, spreadsheet doesn't understand the information the same way a person would. So if, for instance, if I type October in here, then click enter, a, the number formatting will remain as general. It won't know that I'm entering a date. So it will treat it like any other text. Now, if I type the date in a specific order in a specific format like for example i can do month day year or day month year depending on which country you are in excel will be able to understand so in my example i'll type in the current date so it's 28092022 then click enter and you'll see the number formatting will change to date so that's how you you use those certain formats so again you can use month day year or day month year depending on where you are to enter date in excel now that we have 
entered our date correctly formatted so we can do many different things to this data so for example you can use the fill handle command to continue the date through the column like if i use this fill command and do this it will out of fill to the next date so 28 29 30th 1st october and so on now you can also access other date formatting options now to access other date formatting options select the number format drop down menu so if i come up here uh, in that cell with the date then from over here click more number formats so here over here i can choose other type formats that i want to work with so i can go for this one i can go for any one that you want then click ok and it will be applied to that cell now let's look at increase and decrease decimal commands here they are now the increase decimal and decrease decimal commands allow you to control how many decimal places are displayed in the cell these commands don't change the value of the cell and instead they display the value to a set number of decimal places so um if i just click on this we work with this then we have this the decrease decimal and the increase decimal so if i do that i'll increase the decimal but if you look at the formula bar the original number will remain intact if i click on reduce decimal the original number will still remain intact now one thing to point is that the increase and decrease decimal commands don't work with the number formats like date and fraction now lastly i'm going to show you a really quick shortcut to add the current date or time into an excel worksheet so select a cell let's select this one now to enter the current date press control semicolon so control semicolon and it will enter the current date as you can see that's my current date from over here it will enter the current date now to enter current time again i'll select a different cell then press Control shift semicolon and it will enter the current time you can see that's my current time it will enter the current time again to enter current time Control shift semicolon and it will enter the current time for you